balance piece. They don't really take into a consideration range and open. So if I just do a classic shooting drill, Martha, go down on the wing. Emily? Abby, sorry, Abby at the foul line. I'll go right around the basket. Step into the white, that white hash mark there. Give the ball to Abby. Abby, you're just going to pass. Pass to her and shoot and just be a rebounder. Okay? Now, just keep going. So this type of shooting on air, it is not challenging Martha on range, and it is not challenging her on, her on openness, because she's already at a designated range, and she's already open every single time. So she's not making any decision. There is no decision making to that shot. There we go. Okay? Now, and I just think we spend way too much time on shooting, that's good, on shooting that emphasizes the balance. And balance to me is two things in balance. Alignment and then a rhythmic backswing to force generation through a high shot clock. That's what coordinator rhythm is. That's rhythm. So there's two parts to balance. It's your alignment and your rhythm. Very important, don't get me wrong, but just as important is range and openness. Am I in my range and was I open or not? And I'm trying to develop world all-stars. For a world all-star, if I was shooting and she is that close, I should still be able to make this shot because her hands are down. But yet I would guarantee you, most of your players, oh, I'm not open. But if her hands are below the ball, I'm open. And at a world level, you put your hand up, that's still open for a world all-star. You've got to make some of those shots. But if you never allow them to practice that, and they only think this is open, we'll never develop great shooters. Never. Because they never get to make those decisions about what was open or not open. So we're going to look at how we start to build this up. So I'll use two, you two to demonstrate. We did this last night. Come on over here, Abby. We're going to work on off the dribble, and you'll see why in a bit. What's your range? Show, show uh, Martha where you're going to shoot your pull-up. Go tell her where your pull-up is going to shoot from. So the elbow. So just know that she's probably going to be a, a, a step inside the three-point line. So you start in there. Back up some. So she's working as a guard. She's dribbling up into her pull-up. Martha is contesting just short for now. Where we go. So all we're working on is the contested piece of the shot. So she's shooting against a contested person. I like to use shots off the dribble because I, they, I find it easier for younger players to develop rhythm. Okay, they can develop the rhythm of the shot. So, everybody understand what you're doing? And then you just switch, you would switch. So you, she knows where you are, you're a guided defender. Not live yet. Where we go. Okay, you, you, you can be an encourager, you help us. Here we go. Now, I would have worked on some alignment, how we're going to have our hands, our body position, but I want to see the rhythm of their shot, that rhythm of that backswing, force generation through a high release point. And stop. Now, we are working for brads. What is a brad? 